show. Please give it up one more time for Janet O'Brien. All the way to Palo Library. How are you today? Great. Thanks a million Janet, for having us, Chris. We're thank delighted you. to thank be you. here. Thank you so much. Thanks I mean, so. we do appreciate you coming all the way from Carlo down to Dub Dublin here for just a jury question. Thank you so much. Now, Janet, today you're here on the show. We're looking at the old people can rap. Can you talk us through how did it all began? Okay, first of all, just to say that in Carlo Library, we're a very progressive organization in Carlo. Uh, we have four branches in Carlo Town, Tullo Bagnus Town and Boris, and some great staff with very, very strong belief in community and very, very strong belief in working together in interagency work. So we're always looking for an opportunity to work with another agency because you can combine forces and mm. deliver a much better program by doing that. Sure, sure. So with this particular project, we actually called it the Ranting and Banting for Bialtina project. Mm. Um, it actually came from a discussion one night. We had a book meeting. And somebody had the audacity to say that they thought that teenagers didn't understand or appreciate poetry. Hmm. So I put on my cape, my superhero cape, and I defended the teens and just said that basically rap and spoken word are the modern form of poetry. You know, it's poetry, it's expressive, it's uh, relevant, it's real, hmm. it just has a beat. So a bit of a discussion took place around it and I went home that night from work and I was a bit cross so wow. I decided right let's show people what we're talking oh about. God. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's show these people what the teenagers true, now true. can do. I mean it's a long time since I was a teenager myself but I often feel that teenagers get a bad rap. Hmm. Excuse the pun. Wow. But uh, so what we did then was contacted um, the local regional youth service a fantastic organization hmm. in Carlo who works with, with teens and youth. And we uh, talked to Jamie and Jimmy and um, we had a little chat around what we could do and what we could deliver. And they said that with uh, local volunteer Yvonne as well, that the skits group, uh, the lads will talk to you about the skits group. They're an amazing group of young people wow. and that they would come on board and we would do a, a rap song hmm. for Bialtina. It's mm. good. And uh, there are different char characters involved, but you working in the library, you know, <laughs> Mm -hmm. and then be able to work with community yes. and be able to do all the things in your family, you know, yeah. and all of that. Like, why are you so passionate about it? Um, I have to say, Chris, I, I do know that I'm very privileged to be in a job that I go to work every day and I love what I do. You mm. know, and there's not many people out there can say that. So I do understand that I'm extremely privileged to be in that position. Um, I suppose I worked in the local council. Every county council has one in community for maybe... 10 years and the people that you meet at the grassroots out there in communities they absolutely fill you with a passion for life you know what people commit to do on a voluntary basis every single day of this week is, is unbelievable you know so for me with my job that if this is my job so if these people are willing to do it for nothing it's up to me to give them 110 percent and support yeah. them and mm. empower them and give them opportunities, whether it's for learning or an experience that they wouldn't otherwise have. Wow, fair play to you. Come on, I like that. Can we give it a button of applause? I think you just remind us back about what the um, ambassador was talking about, Absolutely. you know, uh, women, you know, needs to kind of push, be educated, have mm -hmm. skills, and you just kind of, you know, nail one of those those things. So let's go back a little bit about when you talk about this, or, uh, you know, old people can rap. How, how did you guys manage to come to a stage? Because when it comes into a production and come into writing a script in all of this, who are the people involved to make sure that you guys achieve this opportunity? Okay, well, what we did was, first of all, we invited the youth service to get involved. And Team Teens, as we call the guys and girls, we're well up for it and we're really excited about being part of the project. It was a little bit more difficult to get Team Mature together um, because you had to be over 55 to, to participate in the programme because we were doing it for Bialtina, which is a festival that celebrates creativity as we get older. Um, but eventually we got some really proactive um, t Team Mature players on board. So then we got a facilitator in to help us to do the rap because we knew that we didn't have the skill set ourselves. We got a fantastic guy from Cork, Mm. Uh, Gary McCarthy, GMC, and Gary works with, he's a producer and a rapper. Uh, you know, what I like about Gary is that he's, he's young, he's experienced. I like the fact that he raps in a Cork accent, you know, that, <laughs> that he's true to himself, you know. Yeah. That, yes. So Gary came up and we did a workshop for a day. He facilitated the workshop and it was just such a great experience because it started off with 
team teens on one side and team mature on the other side. And kind of breaks it down in different areas. Uh, so yeah, and yeah, he teased it out, you know, with a whiteboard and said, you know, what about this? What about that? And, and drew out the ideas. Mm. And then eventually the writing came and he was, he was a fantastic support mechanism. Mm. And he literally helped us pull the whole thing together, pull the ideas. Mm. You know, um, the young people understood, but team mature, we didn't understand the beats and the timing. And yeah, sure. so when it came to recording, he actually recorded us all that afternoon. Mm. You know, the, the young, young people had it down two seconds. They knew, they had their act <laughs> together. They knew what they were doing. For us olders, it took a bit of time. Yes. But by the time that we ended up recording ours and getting it right, Team Teen were absolutely cheering us on and showing us such support. So wow. it definitely, there's a line in it that, you know, breaking down barriers together, we're advancing. Mm. And to me, that epitomizes the entire project. Mm. That, you know, it broke down the age barriers and we advanced and we completed a project together. Wow. Um, <laughs> Wi-Fi in the library. Let's go. Okay. Go in the library, you wanna go? Okay. In the Honda Civic loud exhaust tinted windows. Disturbing OLPs playing bingo. Feel a kick from the subwoofer bass. Rock, 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 Linda glasses on your face. You think you're all techy with that Nokia block. But that's out of date like the cabbage in your pot. Yeah, and you still dress like you're in the 80s. Have you taken a look in the mirror lately? You think that you're cool, but you haven't got a clue. Sure, I was wearing skinnies for your parents were in school. You think you're individual when you say I'm on a hill? Well, let me tell you, sunshine is you that needs a chill pill. Stuck in your fantasy, pointless pursuits. A false sense of freedom that's far from the truth. Even rap. That's why you need a tutor. Just give me the beat, cause I know how to use it. You might think we're ranting, but we're ranting. Breaking down barriers together, we're advancing. We might have different words, I'm gonna say. The only thing that divides us is our age. We used to kick balls into the net. You just surf it, you never get balls in your room. It's not worth it. Stuck in your phone, no communication. Living in a bubble, not part of the nation. Been in this game since 2004. You than Internet Explorer. You're chasing your pension. Not worth collecting. Must be refreshing, easy cash that you're getting. Got individuality in reality. We're not in the same dirt, but down to earth like gravity. Like all day and all night. But to be honest, I couldn't give a shh. Will you be quiet? Who do you think you're talking to? Arson around by the Liberty Tree in a hood up to no good, sneering at me. Blow butts and beer cans all over the place. No standards, no conscience, you've no right to play. It's legit. Cause you're always on video games, staying in All you do all day is chat and sip on the tape Too much time on your face, put that makeup away When you're on the road, you hold up the show And on the footpath, you walk too slow I see you hanging on the corner Mitching from school, we got six of the best If we broke any rule Ow! Crack no banter or sense of humour Afraid of the future, can't use a computer All you do is walk around in your gang's being a pain How you say we're all the same, always giving us the blame The youth are too lazy Riding on their sideways Way on your Zimmer friend Giving me a headache Me hugging Keel Ravish Jockey the law Lig the ski Say la vie You might think we're ranting But we're banting Breaking down barriers Together we're advancing We might look different We're inside we're the same The only thing that divides us Is our age You might think we're ranting But we're banting Breaking down barriers Together we're advancing We might look different We're inside we're the same The only thing that divides us Is our age
some two other the lads who were involved with us, uh, Handy and uh, Rory. What yeah. role did they, did, they, did they play in this as well? Oh, the, the two guys did everything. I mean, All they right. were just amazing. Yeah. And they... we have Rory and uh, Handy in the audience, yes? Okay, yeah. come give it up one more time for Rory and Handy, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> How are you doing, Rory? Awesome. Good to see you. Have a seat. Yeah, okay. Hi, have a seat. Well done, guys. How are you? You can, you can just listen to Janet giving us all the info about you guys. So tell us, guys, what role did you guys play in this whole project? Um, well, me and Andy were technically co-directors. Yes. Um, Yvonne, the group leader of the skits, um, uh, we both approached her, asked if we could um, take charge in this video. And instead of contesting, we decided to just um, team up and put it together ourselves. And it actually came out pretty well, despite all our arguing. <laughs> it was a lot of that. Creative differences. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and Rory, what other side did you play as well? Um, well, I suppose we kind of helped with bits of the script and just kind of the thing is, well, yeah, when you have a music video or when you have a track, we had the track before we had any idea on how we were going to film it. We kind of we knew we were going to film in the library, but we didn't really know. You know, it's, it's awkward in, in one sense in that you, you have a completed song basically mm. or a rap how do you make a video out of it kind of thing, you know yes. what I mean? And there's also the issue of lip syncing, which was a nightmare. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it really was It was very... so funny. And um, in terms of you guys, you're always 16, is that correct? Yes? How, how old are you? Uh, 16. 16. And how old are you, sir? 16. 16. And oh, is this something that you always want, want to do, or is it when you started uh, going to the library and you meet Jenna and then all of this start coming into play? Or what exactly? How did you decide to say, okay, I want to come up with this idea, I want to do something, especially these days, uh, youth these days, they hardly want to do something, to be honest with you, but you guys kind of really inspired me. I tell you, I tell you, you know, they just want to sleep and relax, but how did you guys pick that up? So tell us about it then. Um, well, basically, um, I joined when me and Andy both joined the skits group. Um, we, it was really just a side hobby, like an interest. And if we found out it was like, it was a great, great fun, like a lot of opportunities. So um, we decided to like, make like, you know, um, different short films and we um, took turns in different roles. And I f found like directing um, like the most fun part. So that's how I um, got into that. Interest of it, yeah. yeah. So, which means that uh, you have always want to become a pro producer, produce, producer. Mm, you show yeah. love for that. And Rory, what do you want to say about that as well? Uh, pretty much the same. I, I was I was always interested in filmmaking and things like that. Like it's always something I wanted to do. I would have had an interest in. Mm. So I suppose it was kind of an extension of that. And like Rory said, I like directing as well. It's mm. the most enjoyable part for me personally. So yeah. Okay. See, the good part. The reason I'm saying that is. Uh, you this is like I said earlier on, you know, uh, when I see you like this, you know, working to, together, work on a project especially, it triggers me, it inspires me because I'm like that myself and most of my friends are people that I know, I'm jack of all trade where it means that I want to do something, I want to really do it, you know, but seeing you guys coming up like this, you're going to be inspiring other younger people, you know, who want to do something and you're going to inspire them. So I really encourage you to keep it up like this because you don't know where you're going to land the next day, you know? So just keep it up. So what thanks. other projects? Yes, go on. What was oh, no, I just said thanks. <laughs> so, Jenna, <laughs> so, what other projects you guys have in common in uh, uh, Carlo Library at the moment? Okay, well, in terms of, say, we start basically with people from the time before they're born, mm. right up until old age, because we have things like belly books, and belly books are a new concept in Ireland, encouraging parents to read to their bumps before the baby is born. Yeah. Then we do literacy programs for preschool, and we do different workshops for school. My favorite is working with the teens, to be quite honest. I think they have a great energy about them. You sure. know, you have great fun with, with teenagers. There's always a surprise. So they had records uh, as well. Do you know, not yeah. when you can hand them back and go home <laughs> to your own house afterwards. They're fine, there's somebody else's problem. Yeah. Um, but I mean, at the moment we're working, um, my colleague John is working with a group again of teenagers from Carlo Regional Youth Services mm. on a creative writing project. And they are producing absolutely terrific, mind-blowing stuff. Mm. Um, it, there's going to be a culmination of their works exhibited during PenFest. And PenFest is a literary festival mm. that happens in Carlo Library in September. So watch out world because a lot of the guys and girls work is going to be they have poetry, they have rap, they have short stories and extremely creative and extremely raw material that's on the way out. 
uh, with those guys. Other things that we have an idea, we can't tell you yet, Chris, but Don't we have a new idea yeah, that's good. to work with them again for uh, a new project on a new and different project. But again, using the fantastic skill set mm. that the guys have in the youth services. So, you know, I can't even explain enough what it's like to work with these people. The commitment that they showed as teens, mm. you know, like you say, everybody thinks, oh, teenagers, they won't get out of the bed, they won't do this, that, you know. they were up for everything. Yes, you know, good. they were early, they were just such fun to work with. Wow, so, wow. so on the likes of that, we love working with the teenagers. We also work, say Heritage Week is coming up, um, in August hmm. and we have a full program in Carlow Library in terms of Heritage Week but we like to bring it mix it up and make it a little bit different I'm not sure. boring sedate things that are expected of library services yeah. so for example on the Tuesday the 25th of August we are going to push back all the books push hmm. back all the stands and we're going to have a, a musical <laughs> culture night so it's not going to be about books it's yes, going to be about learning something, something in a living. different way yeah true, so we're going true. to have song and story we're going to have hmm. the old Irish Shanna Keys but then the guys from the youth services are going to bring in and, and perform as well and bring their unique mix into the hmm. into the night because they are the new her heritage, they are the new culture Definitely. of Ireland, you know, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's a mixture of old and new and, you know, we do things like we try to change things around a bit. We had Ushin McConville in lately wow. and Ushin, everybody knows Ushin is a fantastic GA star. Um, who has very uh, wrote, written a book and was very open about his difficulties with the gambling addiction. Hmm. So, I mean, we had Ushin down to do a talk um, lately in the library. We had a packed audience because it's very easy for us as parents to say it, but when they hear it for one of their hmm. superstars, but it supported another um, section of the library we're developing called Mind Matters. Yeah. And Mind Matters is a support system, books, a support system. So for people that have extreme addictions, extreme like suicide addiction, it deals with the harder issues, mm. but it also encompasses then the uh, holistic living side of life. So we have say mindfulness and yoga. So it's a combination of a supporting people through a difficult times. So Ushin was part of that program to launch the whole idea of, of the Mind Matters section. Mm. Coming up to Mensana. You just are really doing a lot of projects. Loads of projects <laughs> in Carlo. Yeah, Hello. loads of Please projects. Please give it up one more yeah. time for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just, just before we go there, part of your job in library, uh, I mean, in uh, Carlo libraries, where you work in finance as well, you work in other area of promotion, dev development. Mm -hmm. I, how are you still managing to to pull all of this to together? Badly. Um, you know, the finance end of it is the finance end. It, it does what it says in the tin. It's the part that, you know, everybody has a part of their job they just have to do. And that's, that's that true. have to part. That is true. But in terms of the promotions or project management, you know, that's that's a passion I have. So mm. it's a pleasure in the job. And then when you work with terrific people like these guys from Carlow Region Youth Services, they energise you and they support you and they make you want to do more. That's good. You know, if you have a good experience working together in an interagency, um, arena and and we, we come together and produce something like ranting and banting for Bielton and that mm. benefits everybody. Wow. It's easy to keep your energy it's up. It's a when you pleasure, get that. Yeah. pleasure, pleasure to have yeah. you guys on the show. Thanks a million, thank, you, thank you. Please give it up one more time for them. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I want to say big thank you for all my guests for being on the show. Jeanette, thank you very much. And Handy and Rory, thank you guys for coming in all the way from Carlos. So people at home, if you're tuning in, listen, all people can rap. I bet you go in, have a look at that video, and you come back and don't believe what you're saying. It's a good show. I mean, it's a good music to watch. You Chris, to sorry, something? can I just say, yeah, yes, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get a look at the rap. It's actually on the Carlow County Library YouTube okay. channel. Very good. Or if you Google on YouTube, if you Google ranting and banting for Beltna, yes. you'll get it. And we'd love to see lots of hits on it. I like the people. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, before we go, I want to say big, 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 big thank you to all my guests on the show. First of all, please give it up one more time for the ambassador of the Nigeria Embassy. Thank you very much for coming here today. And also, the, uh, one of the representatives from the Wasser Share as well. Give it up there as well. Thank you. And for my wonderful guests from all the way from Carlo, thank you guys for coming in one more time for them. Thank you. <laughs> Before we wrap it up, I want to say a big thank you to all my beautiful audience in the studio. So make some noise if you can. Thanks to my production crew for making this production a successful one. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And to our viewers at home, please don't forget, go onto our website at www.jurequestion.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Tell us if you have something to share with us. Otherwise, check us out every week.